So I'm with Peli Duale from Microsoft, and you are here, I guess, together with BBC, demoing the micro bit. Right. So Microsoft is part of uh, 20 companies who work with the BBC to deliver the micro bit, uh, which is a programmable little computer that's going to every fifth grader in the UK right now as we speak. You can say that it's the bigger maker initiative happening right now in the world. So we've heard about the microbit a bit in Sweden, but we don't really know what it is. Could you just walk us through what uh, the microbit is? You grab one. Uh, so the microbit is a programmable uh, microcomputer. It's it's a small uh, processor. You know, it has 16 kilobytes of memory. It's much more, uh, much less than your phone. Uh, it has 16 megahertz, so it it runs the code you program into. There's no operating system uh, like other boards. Um, it also comes with a bunch of sensors. So it has a, an, a motion sensor called an accelerometer. It has a magnetometer, which is a compass. But right? it has also light sensing through the screen. Uh, and it has also temperature sensing. So a lot of sensors which allow you to do experiment, see what's happening around you, two buttons to build games. Uh, it has a cool screen. You can see the screen here is used to uh, display blinking images or uh, scroll text, right? So uh, where do I code the microbit? Right. So, you code, so you code the microbit in a web browser. Um, all the editors are web-based, cross-platform. Uh, this one in particular is the, is the block editor, so it's based on Google Blockly. It's a drag and drop uh, coding environment, very similar to Scratch. Uh, we built uh, with Lancaster University uh, a runtime that allows kids to, to write simple code. Uh, typically in microcontrol is a bit more complicated. So once you, you're happy with your code, you, you run it in the browser. So we have a simulator that simulates the, the hardware in the browser. If you're happy with that, uh, you go and you compile it and then you send it into the hardware. Okay. Right? So I first work in the web-enabled yeah. environment. I do my code in this block environment, yeah. test it out so that it works, and then I send it over to the microbit. Exactly. And you want to do that if you're you know, launching rockets on space and make sure it's, it's still uh, working. But uh, it is web-based, but it works also without internet. So this is using uh, new web technologies. It's this cache in your browser. Uh, this works without Wi-Fi. The compilation happens client side in JavaScript very fast. So it's also designed to deal with schools and you know and finicky Wi-Fi that doesn't work and so forth. So the microbit is really a system that has been engineered and designed for fifth graders, so young, you know, children, for schools with all the challenges of schools. All our tools are cross-platform; they don't require installation. Um, and, and so forth. And as I've understood it, there's also a kind of ecosystem on the web with like tutorials and guides. And if you're so, if you're a teacher and you're new to this, there's some level of help right. also. So the third part of the the micro bit is a professional developments and lessons to weave in uh, the micro bit inside of the UK curriculum. So a large number of partners that the BBC uh, work with are content writers. They're companies who build STEM activities or you know, cool activities. We also build a number of lessons, uh, Microsoft, uh, that would map directly to the UK curriculum. And we also went and trained teachers in person in the UK so that the, the chip doesn't stay in the box because the teacher is afraid to use it. We actually go and went and convinced them beforehand that it is a cool device, it is easy and usable in the classroom, and they should go and invest time on it. It's a very dangerous game for teachers to, uh, to innovate because they have 30 pairs of eyes in front of them and they can do mistakes. So uh, give me some examples of what you have here that you've done with the microbit. All right, so um, uh, this is a, a simple one. Um, I took, uh, my kids would kill me because I took one of their toy and I just have a, a little blinking light in it, right? Um, this is the same. This is a, this is a, a game. So there's a pixel uh, going left and right and uh, you have to press A when it's in the center. Uh, it's a skill game. It's that simple. Uh, but you can play for a long time on this game. Uh, it's, uh, kids, kids get really the, the hang of it. In order to code this, you actually need to learn about uh, you know, Boolean logic, conditional, uh, coordinates on the screen, and so forth, because the, 
for example, the blinking here is, is completely done through code, right? Uh, the next step we have uh, is, you know, this is a kind of a classic game, right? Remember, it's a skill game where if I press here, you can see here on the camera uh, the, the, the... The sorry face. The sorry and, face, right? Yeah. So this is using a part of the hardware we haven't covered, which is the edge connector. So these are electronically uh, connected and they you can send current through them. So you can interact with uh, circuits or uh, other devices, right? So in this case, I have a circuit here with these nails. Yeah, that, and it could uh, just as easily be a conductor thread or anything right. else. And uh, the typical example we use in schools is crock clips, because it's very easy to do it. You don't need soldering, uh, soldering devices. Now, the, the thing I had fun building at home is, uh, it's called a Themerin. It's an instrument that doesn't require uh, to touch it to play it. So, well, this one is kind of a mix. So, the light is going to control the pitch of uh, the sound. Ah, so it's the light in the room the that controls room. the pitch of the sound. Yes. And, and we use the screen as the light sensor. And then the, uh, the angle of the guitar is going to control the tempo. All right? So, so I, I have a slow and, and deep sound. And right, so I can do the. <laughs> right. But it's, it's actually. Uh, quite easy to program um, you need you have one block to get the lights light sensing you have one block to get the acceleration you do a little bit of math around that and you put a loop around it so it's it's quite easy now the hardware side um, I don't know to know about soldering I just screwed the cables into the jack of the yeah, yeah, of yeah. the sound system so uh, the sound system you've basically taken a part of the sound system and put it on here yeah I had one version here but it broke so I had to bridge it to this one uh, but typically in a classroom this would be a headphone yeah. right and kids have headphones right so we we do a lot of activities that involve using crock clips into headphones and creating cool sounds and and kind of interaction of the hardware to create music and stuff which is very kids love music we kind of forgot that part as adults but uh, they really respond well to that um, so that's that's the micro bit in a, in a nutshell Thank you so much for that run through.